Hello and welcome everybody, back to the League of Unchanted Many Warfare. Kebab Lord here, and we are still playing Anno 1800. In this episode we are first going to defeat the disease, then we will send out our ships to some sweet expeditions. And yeah, we are going to start with a concrete production. Because once we have that, I actually want to build some commuter piers. What actually means that? It means that we are able to connect islands with each other. Um, with, uh, to combine our workforce pools. And in my opinion, that is something that is going to be very useful so that we can have, for example, one farmer island, one worker island, one artisan island, and yeah, can then just focus on this one here. So for example, we can then upgrade all these farmers without having to worry about these farms because we have the farmers on that island in return. But for that, we need concrete. And that will require us to build a little city over here. So, and for that, no more or less popular we are going to rebuild the HMS Hallman for our building material route. And we are going to connect all these islands with building material route, allowing us to start building. Oh, look at that. Gasparov has finally found a use for Hunt's old capital. It's one cornfield. Or grain field. Yeah, Hunt already has engineers again. But she isn't nearly as dangerous as she was before. So we don't have to worry. And Kasparov is increasing the size of his city. It and also has now energy well. supply in his on his island. As we can see with all these energy lanes. And the road, uh, railroad going through his city. Yeah, he's really upgrading in size. I can't wait for him having investors. Because that will really look sexy. I guess in like 20 episodes or something like that, um, Narvel is going to look really glorious. Really looking forward to it. But yeah, we want to go on expeditions. We have quite a few available here. A pirate hunt, okay. Let's extend we will need naval jealousy. power, force, and navigation, and we can get pirate treasures. Okay, we are going to assign a ship. It's for fun, the club. So yeah, we have quite high naval power. I wish the icons wouldn't be that large, then I wouldn't have to scroll through everything. And apparently we also need to be careful about our rum production. Okay, what we are going to need is also some force and navigation. Diplomacy, navigation and force and naval power. Okay, sure, why not? Your people are healthy again. So you will also increase our navigation and do we have something that we can add in force here? Now we can actually send animals and items okay and what we now need is some rations yeah, start the expedition so and we need to be careful about our rum mm. Workforce shortage. Rum is not being loaded properly. Apparently, we need more. But I'm fine with that. So, we can just build here more sugar cane. What was that? One, two, three, four. So it is seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Game saved. 
can build another distillery. I mean, we should have enough logs in here. Yeah, definitely. So, time for constructing the next distillery. Increasing our rum production by 50%. That should do the trick. Now we can go back to the old world. Aye. This ship needs to be healed. And yeah, send on the next expedition. We have so many expeditions. It's not raining unless it makes your head bleed. So, assign ship for Puff Edda or... Ship shape. So, you need hunting. And force. Okay, we will have a wolf aiding us. Bia will give us also some diplomacy. But we don't have much about force. That is okay. So then we have here pirate hunt. Where are my charts? Oh, already going on that. Good captains respect the sea, fear it. I'll never get seasick. So naval power is covered. What we now need is crafting. Ship constructed. For that we have a naval architect. For hunting we can get another wolf. Yeah, beer also does count as uh, rations. Okay, that is good to know. Uh, what else do we have that counts for hunting? Yeah, sewing machines don't count. <laughs> oh, Your sad. harbor is under attack. Which one? They'll lay down arms on them. Seriously, Jean. Shot. Some of us need time to regroup. You're right. We need some perspective. So, are you happy now? I'm pretty sure. So, about the expeditions. Um, there's also an archaeological it's not expedition. Unless it makes your head bleed. No bitter end in sight. Okay, you need force. There's not much I can do for force. Only for medicine. I wish I could just filter by those. That would make things way easier. That you could just click here and then it would filter all these items. To work better for that, but okay. So crafting is easier, we have hunting here. Naval power, navigation, crafting, 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 hunting, even more hunting, oh, hunting 20. Game saved. Hmm. 
Oh, that does not work. Crafting, crafting. Medicine, hunting 10, navigation 30. Yep, it does not work as intended. So for diplomacy, you're going to need that. And for medicine, some soap. Start expedition. The captain's response. And the other one. We'll also go for that. That one dude increases our diplomacy. How we've longed to get back to the blue. And also here, medicine. Okay, start expedition. So now they all should be sent off. Okay, then we have here our clipper that is freshly built. The new HMS Holman. Maybe losing your island will polish you off. Oh well, it is the HMS. Holman 2. So, and in regards of our roots, we will add that. A fire broke out. Yeah, I don't care about fire. So, now I can care about it. Okay. It was a coal mine that we lost. That is interesting. And I believe we should actually increase that one trade route to ensure that we have always some items available. Disgusted by my zoo. Well done. All I can say is that we are way more efficient now in regards of attractiveness. 738, appealing capital. And we are now gaining 1,500 coins. Probability of guess 24, 22%. So now we increase the attractiveness even I further. I've seen everything. I see the same old faces whenever I come here. Okay, so how about the, the expedition? Pact has ended. Time to rummage in the old sea chest. We careen into the unknown. This is the eye of the devil. It's not raining unless it makes your head bleed. Okay, that one's already. The festival has ended. Gone? And here something is happening with this expedition. Okay. The deeper you go, a border blocked entrance and a booby trap corridor. Typical Mizon temple. After a fall down a slide after a fall down a slide and a crash into uncharted caves, your team of explorers jokes about the situation and attempt to forget its deathly aspect. They know what people say of Mizon mazes. The deeper you go, the shinier it gets. Followers suggest a road of progress through traps. The obvious traps are easily evaded. The sailors contoured themselves to avoid sharp stones and plated triggers, flowing through the corridor with the ease of seasoned explorers or cut purses. 
They quickly reached the pocket of a, t of a temple, a vast chasm crossed by a meager bridge with no hand trade. Could this be a trial of courage? Well, climb down. The crew aren't as strong as they think. An officer loses her nerve and her grip slipping down the stone with a soft thud marking the end of her fall. Smooth thirsting sounds hush her desperate cries. The floor is covered in snakes. Oh, find a way among them. The sailors manage to flee. Too occupied by the convulsing mass of a fallen officer, the reptiles don't notice the, f the furtive crew as they tiptoes past them and escape through the first tunnel available. The explorers emerge outside the temple, stunned by their survival. Extra rations for everyone! And now we are adding that clipper to this. The Nantucket. We have the devil to pay. So that's now a pirate hunt. What is it? The itching? No, the broken mast. Sailor under the mast. Weeks of harsh weather have taken the toll on the ship and the violent gusts of wind this morning have toppled the mizzen mast. For a moment, the ropes tying it to the other masts hold it in place, but there's only so much weight they can take. They break with a snap, letting the mizzen mast plummet on the deck. A sailor now veils, his leg caught under pole twice his size. Lift the mast with a makeshift lever. The man is freed. Using one of the partners broken by the mast, the crew have his sturdy pieces of timber between the deck and the fallen mast, adding plank after plank on the opening before gradually raising the mast with ropes and pulleys tied to the main mast. They manage to lift the mast long enough to free the sailor, and the doctor immediately tends to his crushed leg. Okay. doesn't change the fact that I need stuff here on Scar's back. Oh, I need workers, quite many actually. So we got here iron, coal, limestone, iron, limestone. Are we going to produce the concrete itself at home? In our capital. But that also requires us to have at least some basic farmers here in order to supply the people. We don't have wood yet transported. We like to think independently. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then. We careen into the unknown. The next expedition. The In the grasp of a tentacular. Could it be the Kraken? What else could possess tentacles wide as barrel and long as bowsprits? As your lookout claims to have spotted protruding from the triacal black swell. Creature of legend or not, a shadow below the surface is hurtling towards your ship at full speed. Oh, kill the monster. Funk, an excellent shot. The harpoon lodges into the creature's ampli sized brain. It takes little effort to haul the reddish mantle and decimate of long pulpous limbs aboard. No one is going to believe this trophy when they see it, or that something of this size swam at such threatening velocity. Its eyes alone are half a meter wide. Apparently, they fought a giant squid. Still, we are now waiting for all the wood to arrive on the other islands. I'm just asking myself... Why are we not doing the concrete production on this island? I mean, we already are producing iron here. We have a lot of people that we can upgrade, but no, this island is going to be for farmland. 
So, hier vor Hand. Come on, you need to wait. At the cry of minds, all rush to the pro. Sure enough, several of the conical terrors bob seductively below. Who knows how many of these infernal machines have passed us or by yet await us. A false move and the sea shall be a lake of fire. What the devil do we do? Try to navigate or turn around? What was that noise? Gums the helmsman, but fortunately a metallic scraping is not the prelude to a mighty boom. As the ship is fitfully steered bet uh, betwixt the mines, hearts palpitate and sailors wring sweat from their jerseys. When the all clear is finally given, there is not a sailor who fails to offer up a prayer to their goddess. She said fair enough. What happened here? Engagement. Okay, we're also going to take this as a thumbnail, because this episode was clearly about expeditions. Pirates, the torn flag bearing a skull and crossbows is a shock to those on your expedition who thought they were a dying breed. Weather worn ship emerges from the mist with uh, prepared to plunder. A striker bow stands her colorful captain, axe raised, along her raids with spectra silhouette of her starving crew, hungry to feed. Maneuver into attack position. You swivel in a sixpence, ready to blow them away. Quickly setting sails to curb momentum, your ship turns up the shallowest possible arc for a vessel this size. A maneuver only a, ta a tactician well accustomed to risk would attempt. Meanwhile, some of the crew have improvised a few grenades, should you want to make use of them. Well, fire the cannons. Look what blew up the blowhole. The pirates are sunk before they have a chance to do any damage at all. Your ship's guns target the most mold-ridden flank of a Corsair's ship, smashing it through. The antique vessel collapses on in on itself, and your sailors enjoy the resulting plunder almost as if they themselves had been the pesky picaroons. The thing is, this torpedo, torpedo isn't even worth it. Refuse. Another player has had their island seized. Another player has had their island seized. Okay, they are both still going on that war. By the way, how's your capital doing, Artur? Hmm, now the third district has developed. Okay, here are more expeditions that need my attention. For singular case of a midshipman, the midshipman is found with a throat slit knife in hand. It would appear to be suicide, but appearance is often proved deceptive. Understandably, the whole crew crowd the scene, debating whether he was the type to take his own life or if someone might have gained by his passing. Needless to say, they expect some action to be taken. Do nothing. It's suicide. Yeah, I know it's bad for the morale, but still. Do not let us be strict. I live here, afraid of a light. This man is severely ill. A group of sailors bang on the door to the doctor's cabin. They carry a feverish friend who, between two moments of al of altered sleep, mutters about a burning radiance and closes his eyes to protect himself from the deck's half-light. The doctor's inspection could reveal more symptoms, but shouldn't the crazed patient be secluded instead? Inspect the risk of contamination. The symptoms speak for themselves. The man's neck is stiff, his breathing distraught, his cheeks paralyzed. As the doctor explains to the rest of the crew the details of meningitis, the lying patient suddenly trembles, taken by a seizure of such intensity that his whole body arcs upward, bent in a pyramid pyramidal pose of impossible tension. He screams out the name of your doctor before falling down, dead. This was a delirium of dying man. The doctor's truth isn't convincing. He fumbles through his explanations as his limited knowledge of a dead man's illness, be illness begins to show. Even if a doctor did seem to correctly identify the ailment, he fails to justify the impressive death the crew just witnessed. Doubts linger as the expedition goes on, and the doctor spends the rest of the trip isolated in quarantine of defiance and distrust. We know not people. The fugitive. Okay. It's out of my hands now. Game 
No, we don't need him. So, are there any more expeditions needing my attention? No, not really. Oh, slowly, the first timber is arriving here. Yay. Untold perils await us. Wild things pursue us. A fistful of doubloons. The ship's coffers have been emptied. Your purser knew these new recruits had a wicked air about them. As soon as the ship reached port and the sailors were allowed some rest, the three landsmen merged with the local crowd and disappeared. And with them went weeks of pay. The theft was planned in every minute detail. Your sailors have been robbed by professionals. Try to track them down. The fleeing footprints are easily found. The tracks of the thief's limping leader stand out in the dust. The grazing light of the setting sun highlights the path for your huntsmen to follow, leading them away from the town and closer to its river, where the tracks disappear into the water. Has the hills rise sharply on the other side. Yeah, create a raft. The raft cut Seriously, he failed? Okay. The raft cut even float. Your sailors bind logs and dead branches together with sturdy knots, but with little actual knowledge of how to assemble a raft. Raft's apparent stability tricks the builders into climbing into it and it swirls over the river, wobbling under the weight of sailors and the pressure of the current, before breaking and diving straight into the icy waters below. Few sailors can be rescued from the wreckage. Admiral! Admiral! Set our bearings right! The minefield! Okay, we already got that. We are going to navigate. We are masters of the sea, sing the triumphant crew, as the ship weaves easily beyond the last line of mines. Even Odysseus, when faced with Scylla and Charybdis, lost man. We have lost none of our company, and our bonds only strengthen. Soon, a special bottle is being uncorked, and toasts raised to the continued success of the expedition. The expedition comes home safe, but they didn't find what they were looking for. Sad. I hope the others come back with some loot. I hope we get here some more wood. A competitor's island is under siege. Okay, Margaret is putting Arthur on under pressure again. Another player has had their island seized. I mean, she's fully in the game again. With her H formations. All hands up already. Uncertain shores. Mysterious artifacts. The discovery of several strange artifacts aboard spooks the crew. Tied to the rigging, bunks, boards, and even atop the captain's desk. A warning, a threat, and who put them there? Since the nearby island is uninhabited, it is sensible only to think the perpetrator must be aboard. The crew must know I have seen something last night. The crew are beginning to board. Someone comes forward, not having expect to cause such a bother. They are from me old mom, he sighs. Bert, that's one little robin. Made him together when she was ill. Now she's gone, I... The others are quick to put an arm around his shoulder. They are all in this together. Be not afraid of splinters. Sunken depths. Unusual debris, debris floats among the waves. Moldering planks of wood, strings of cloth, fragments of broken plaster. All tinted by the grey shade of time. Filled with childish excitation, the crew discuss the possibility of going underwater to uncover the debris origin. The diving bell looks decent and feels solid. Two men climb aboard and the bell plunges into the depths while a whole group of sailors pumps air into its ventilation tube. 
The bell was sensed until it is stopped by a surface of coral. Underneath, a colorful shapes, the sailors notice a silver coin on their left and a gaping, perfectly circular hole on their right. Pick up and resurface. Low risk, low reward. Yeah, we had no faith. The diving bell emerges without a scratch and the crew enjoys it with a tiny silver coin, passing it around and commenting on its singular aspect. Their excitement can only survive for so long and the coin is stored in the officer's coffers where the sailors whisper what ifs leading to the grand attraction. Continue. Even without the extra rations. Okay, I see, we are definitely not going under siege. for concrete in this episode. But seriously, Hunt is so dangerous. Untold perils await us. So this is again a pirate hunt. Um, the trial. Okay. Let's send the strongest fighter. And we lost. Okay. I had this... I had this event several times with a close speeder, therefore I'm not reading it. Tokyo Tube. Okay, I know that one. Swift justice. If doom it must be, we will follow. Ship of the line reporting in. All right, here they're just being steel transported. So we could actually get all the limestone here the entire time. And build two we concrete factories. Yeah, you need to wait a little bit for that archaeological expedition. So, what do we get here? Sea of Sargassum. A ship is in need of rescue. Vast floating tapestries of algae in these windless waters have long been thought impassable. Just when you thought your own vessel had managed to avoid the yellow-orange plants, you see another ship stuck fast. They must also have seen you, as the alarm, begi alarm begins to sound. With no proper rescue equipment aboard, your own ship risks become, uh, becoming entangled if you get too close. Should you try to help? A good shot, but there's too little wind to tuck them clear. Having signaled your intention, the gunner sent a harpoon crunching into the other ship's hull. A fine shot, considering it was at the limit of the harpoon's range. However, the calm prohibits them pulling the ship out of a brown mass of algae, so the crew consider their next steps. Try to throw them a lifeline. The breaches boy she is off into waters just as the first sailor climbs into a contraption, leaving it dangling perilously from, from the rope between the two ships. Desperate for rescue, the crew of a stranded boat decide to swim for it instead. After freshing the distance, the mariners eventually slop aboard, their bodies jaundered with algae. Five years we've been stuck here, one stammers angrily. They're going to be quite a burden on your expedition. My spirits. A competitor's island withstood an attack. Snow globe, sails frozen, food rotten, and a ship on the brink of breaking. Oh, achievement unlocked. It's a blizzard. All notion of time and direction has long been lost. A never-ending tempest of s snow surrounding the ship, blurring the limits between night and day or sky and sea. Selectites have imprisoned your sails, binding them to the masts and making them creak under the unexpected weight. Your crew fear they might break, but should anyone venture outside while violent winds with the upper deck? Stay inside and hope that the supplies last. Your sailors' fever trust is not enough to fuel their patience. The storm lingers and with each new gust of raging wind the mainmast complains and moans until the distinct sounds of breaking wood resonate through the ship. 
That's enough waiting. Several sailors rush to the upper deck in the hope of either strengthening or defrosting the mast. Boy, see water. There was no chance of sailors to gather or sort your sailors keep away from wind and bury below the deck to light a fire under a pot of seawater. Their condenser is poorly handled and cause of water to fall back into the pot, leaving the crew to believe the fire isn't burning hard enough. They fan flames, hell rises. The blizzard is fed gusts of murky smoke and spits it back out before receding, revealing half-burned carcass of your ship. She said fair enough. Oof. The world's oyster opens. Expedition returns with an eastern buffalo, puma and butterflies. And we're going to take this as a thumbnail. means we have more animals that we could put into the zoo. Ceasefire has ended. Maybe we can get another puma. And we eat some water buffalo. The pigeon can also be replaced. By the way, how much money I'm are glad. we now making At least through it's not that? Any busier. Attention for the Admiral. Quite a lot, as it seems. Time the rigging. Pressing engagement. So and here, Dokya Dupe. Okay, return. Swift justice, yeah. High spirits. There was again no issue. Are we going to finish these expeditions before ending this episode? That is the big question. So and we have started with the production of concrete, though I would love to have more available. Now I'm going to increase the size of this city. In order to ensure that we get more steel. Okay then, we have more events coming up. Expedition returns. Butterflies, jellyfish, Jeez, an orca! That is nice. And the grass of the tentacular. Okay, we can outrun the thing. A drop in the ocean. Ceasefire has ended. Wind is with you. Whatever that bird beak nest of serpents below actually is, it relaxes on its piston like pursuit of your ship once your crew have succeeded in catching the best of a prevailing breeze. Those present swear it was equipped with two clock tower eyes within which ink black pupils swam delirious. For now, it seems its wait for a suitable mate must go on. High spirits! Success at yeah. sea is not easily won. No captain got us. Expedition before. returned. If stuff. Okay, I will accept that. Ship of the line reporting in. Unfortunately, I can't afford another district bed. What do we need for a higher level? Game save. We don't need many more people. Oh, what quest is that? Grease the wheels, governor. 
spare a thought for us? There's a little revolutionist who boy is handing out flies in one of your schools. He's wearing a blue shirt. Got him. A promise Extremely loud bell affects all production buildings. Workforce need. Wait, uh, why can't I just finish reading? Seriously. Workforce needed maintenance. Affect all production buildings. Ooh, can I make? Let's try this out. I knew this crew wouldn't let you down. Yeah, okay, that helps. Also that, but in return the chance of fire is increased, but that we can counter. Oh my god, that's just... Okay, that, we're strong items. So, expedition returns, what do we get here? Silver helmet, pirate crystals, painted stones. Okay, enough to increase that. And yeah, we can now upgrade a lot more. So there's this. So, and the zoo must be expanded. Here we can get the Orca. Good thing you caught me. We're about to take tea. Okay, and that was it for this episode. I mean, I have already taken screenshots for that. Yeah, and in the next episode we will finally build the um, concrete production. Well, expand it a little bit and go on, f go for the commuter piers, so that we are able to distribute our workforce better, at least more evenly. And as always, I hope you liked this episode. If yes, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It's always a great feedback for me. You know the rest. And if you want to discuss with me, have feedback or suggestions, then just type it down in the comments or join the community server. You will find a link for our Discord community server in the video description. And if you have the need of getting notified whenever I upload something new, then just subscribe to the channel and make sure that notifications are activated. And with that, I say goodbye and see you next time in Anno 1800. Bye-bye.